Hey, we can. That's cool. All right, we're live in three places now, everybody. And two on the same computer. I did not know that was a thing. Sweet. With that. Woo. All right, we're good. What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's having a great day. Happy What's Financial up? Friday. Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. That's cool that we can do two. Yeah, hopefully they're both working. Maybe neither one's working. <laughs> we'll, find out. we'll find out soon. Mine's working. Instagram's here. We're good to go. YouTube, uh, anybody watching likes what we have to say, give us a like and a comment or a dislike and comment or dislike or like, whatever. It's all good. Hit subscribe. Facebook, ask any questions. We know most of you guys on there. And if we don't, well, welcome to Financial Friday. Instagram, what's up? Yeah, what's up, guys? And... Girls and people. Anybody watching. <laughs> Anybody watching, yeah. Today we're... we wanted to come to you guys and talk about your revenue streams. And it seems kind of a little bit self-explanatory, but we talk to so many people that are just, I don't have any money. I don't have $100. I don't have a couple hundred dollars. Like, I, I, I wish I could start my own business, but I can't because I can't afford anything. I'm, I'm strapped to the nines. And... It seems like it would be self-explanatory, but maybe it's not. So, you know, that, there's this analogy. Picture your, your bank account as a cup, a paper cup, and, or a glass cup, but glass <laughs> isn't going to work for this, a paper cup. You're holding it under a faucet, and you have, if you're a low-paying job, just, you know, the faucet's just cranked open, or dripping, some of you dripping, <laughs> or it's halfway open or whatever. And then in the bottom of your paper cup, you have a hole for your mortgage and a hole for your hydro and a hole for your water and a hole for your Netflix and your, and gas. your gas and your food and your clothes and your fancy watches that you can't live without and your hats that you never wear and your student and, loans and your student loans and your, uh, your, your Starbucks or your fucking lunches because you don't pack your own lunches. And before you know it, you got, you got one stream coming in the top and you have 20 coming out the bottom and you wonder why you're fucking broke. Yeah. Why you can't scrape together a couple hundred dollars to start a business, a business that's going to level you up. Yeah. Well, and the average, the average millionaire has seven streams of income, just so everyone kind of knows that. If you're, if you're trying to get rich or you're trying to get out of debt or you're trying to get ahead in life on a single stream of income that requires you to trade your time for money, you're going to have a real tough time. And if you think that things are going to change, well, how long have you been doing this and how much has changed? If it hasn't changed yet, if you're not, you know, it, it takes time to get to where you want to be. But if you live fucking paycheck to paycheck... Yeah. Always waiting for next month or always waiting for two weeks from now. You know, you're always trying to get there, but you're never quite there. Yeah. Or the it, second the second weekend without a, you know, without a your check, you're like, oh, I can't do anything this weekend. There's no money left, yeah. right? There's too much time and not enough money before you get paid. So you got it. You got it. I mean, realistically, the first thing you got to do is assess right? You got to understand, it's like, where is your money going? Like, where are like, all those little holes? Where are the little holes? Like, you know, some people I talk to, like, oh, I, I've got no money. I can't, I can't start a business. Like, I can't do anything else. And it's like, okay, well, where is all your money going? Like, well, I don't know. It's like, well, guys, like, you have to know where your money's going. That's step one. How much? Step one of figuring out your finances is figuring out where your money's going. Yeah. So find out how much do you spend you know, we obviously know how much you spend on your mortgage or rent. That's usually very self-explanatory. But how much do you spend each month on gas, on groceries, on alcohol or cigarettes or chewing tobacco or whatever? Like how much money is going out and categorize it all? It's really important that you categorize it all because you want to know you want to know how much is going out and where you can cut costs, right? Like you can cut costs going out for coffee or buying your lunch or whatever every day or Whatever it is, like the little small things, they all add up to exactly what you need to start a business. And by the way, I don't condone, and I don't think you do either, living below your means. I don't want to live below my means. No. And I don't, I don't suggest that as a financial goal because 
living below your means as your goal for life is like saying, I just want to settle for fucking average. Yeah. I just, I just, I just want to be all right mm. because being great is too much work. Fuck living below your means and fuck all those financial advisors that tell you to. I'm telling you to close up some of them holes in the bottom like me right now. I'm, I'm not just preaching to you. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or anything like that. This is what I am living. And you have lived this. Mm -hmm. Now you you got more streams coming in the top and you crank that fucking faucet wide open. So you can afford to go to Starbucks and waste $7 a day. Yeah, if I if I feel like it, I definitely can. But right, uh, now, I do have. So I got a guy saying, uh, "Be honest, I don't believe being in being rich. My daughter makes my day, and rich having her in my life. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's great, right? Um, you know, your family, your kids uh, are obviously a huge part of of your life. But you know what? Having a lot of money is going to allow you to have more time with your family." My kids are going to be homeschooled starting next week. I walk my kids to school every day when they were at, at public school. I'm going to be able to take trips with them whenever the, whenever I want because I have a business and I make a lot of money. And if I didn't make a lot of money, I would have to go to work every single day for 40 plus hours a week or more, right? Because I decided that, oh, money's not that important. If you say that money's not important, then you don't know what you're you just don't know about money and you're trying to give yourself an excuse as to why being broke or being average is okay. And it's can we, just, not. Can, we, can we block that guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're here to help. We're here to help. We want to open your mind. Okay. We want to open your mind to making more money because it does matter. You can help more people, right? If you have more money, you can help more people. If you have you more money, you can, can spend more time. more time with your daughter. Yeah, exactly. You don't, you want to be able to give your daughter all the, great things in life, right? I mean, I know I do for mine, but I can't do that without money. And to, to say that money isn't important is really, really messed up in my mind. Okay. It is important. Or do you want to teach your kids financial intelligence? Because it's not a subject that's taught by a lot of parents or a lot of teachers because they don't know it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, and okay. So you've been in your job for 13 years. I was in construction for 14 years. So like there's, that's not an excuse, right? That just means that, oh, so, so 13 years. So you have another 32 years at least of labor. How much of that time could you have been spending with your daughter if you had your own business? All lots, of it. Lots and lots. All of it. Lots more. It's just, it's just the truth, right? And I, and I still enjoy construction. I, you know, I built this office. We're going to, we're going to build a fence. I'm going to redo my deck. There's a lot of stuff. Like I still like working with my hands. I just. Yeah. I enjoy all that shit too, but you know what I enjoy more? Being able to do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. And having the money to buy whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. True wealth is, is in my opinion, all based on time. How much time you have. If you have to trade your time for money, then you're not wealthy in my opinion. Right. But if you can make money and lots of it from it, from whatever investing or businesses that like which are systems that create wealth for you, then you should do that so that you can get your time back because you never know how much time you have. Right. But right. anyways, back to what we were talking about. <laughs> tangent, tangent, the, tangent. the paper cup analogy. And this is what Adam was getting at, knowing where all of those knowing where your money goes. This is why you write out those lists. This is why you figure that out. So you can start closing up some of them holes temporarily. Yeah. Like I said, I, I do not, I am not telling you to live below your means. I'm not no. telling you to settle. I'm not telling you to lower your goals. I'm telling you to fucking raise your standards, get your goals way higher. But first, if you can't afford to start your business, Empire, you guys are here because each and every one of you have reached out to me and said, Hey, how do I start a business? Get into this group because we're going to be dropping value like this every single Friday and whenever we feel like it in between, start tightening up temporarily, tighten up, get a few hundred dollars back, pay off your bills, pay off your credit card debt that you're paying 20% interest on. And then you got to poke another hole and maybe that's going to hurt, but that little stream is going to start going into your business, building your business. And then you got more streams coming in the top. You're cranking up that fucking income faucet. You're filling up your cup. And then start splurging on stupid shit. But first, you're going to have to tighten it up. Yeah. And, it, yeah, let, you know, and it's it doesn't have to be for a long time, right? I mean, it's just a, a short period of time as you build your business, invest in your business so that you can, again, 
turn that knob and get the flow of cash coming in faster. But you can't, if you can't even start your business because you have so many holes in the bottom of your cup, you have to do something different. But either that or you go and get, you go and trade all your time for money. And I mean all of it. You come home from work and you go to work as soon as you get home. And then on weekends, you don't take days off. You go to work. That's the your other option. Trade all of your time for money or close up some of those holes. And if any of you guys are thinking, you fucking hypocrites, I don't do shit. I'm boring. I'm not fun. I'm a lousy friend. I don't. <laughs> I rarely drink. I don't go out. I don't take my wife out for dinner because she is on the same plan as me. She's like, sacrifice now. Sacrifice short term to hit those long term goals. Would you rather, you know, be broke for a little bit? My my friends are asking, me, hey, you want to go for beers? Hey, you want to go for dirt? No, sorry, I'm broke. Hey, why don't you buy this? Why don't you buy this dirt bike and come out with the boys on the weekend? Sorry, I'm broke. I'm broke getting rich. Yeah, I've closed up all those fucking holes, and my wife is with me because she's like, we do this now, and we'll be set later. Then we don't have to worry later. Then we don't have to live like fucking peasants later. Yeah. Like if you if you can't afford to start a business now, what, what makes you think you're going to be able to later if you don't do something different? They, you can't. You're not going to get any different results if you don't do something, start doing something different. You have to, if you want to change, you got to make a change. Change does not come to you. Okay. There's no lottery of life. You know, it's, it's go and get after it. You have to make things happen. And we're, our goal is to teach you guys how to do those things. And our goal is to show you guys how to set goals higher because you're better off to make a goal for 10 million and come up a little short than make a goal for 1 million or 100,000 and come up short. Fuck that. Fuck average. Fuck cheap. <laughs> go big. Go big or go home, baby. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the only way to create cash flow is you need money to create cash flow for the most part, right? I mean, there's just no way around it. I've never, I've never heard of a business that doesn't, um, that doesn't cost money wherever it is. Right. No. No comments coming in? No, not yet. If anybody has any questions, any comments, feel free to drop them over there, over here. It's all good. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. And where are you coming in from? Where are you tuning in from tonight? Sorry about that guy that we were a little harsh. I was a little harsh to earlier, but he's he he said love. Philip says 10x. What's up, Philip? Yeah, 10x. 10x your goals. 10x your mindset. Sal Salazar Art says he spends money on art supplies. Well, that's good, man. Like you know, it's good to have a hobby and hey, art can make you money. Art, you know, if it can make you money and you enjoy it a lot, then do it. Yeah, I'm not. We're not saying again, like Justin just said, we're not saying live below your means and don't have fun and don't enjoy life. We're saying if you aren't actively finding a way to increase your income and cash flow, then you need to make some changes and make some sacrifices for a short period of time. I actually was listening to a really good training video the other day that um, from Eric Worre, and he said, uh, you know, employees want instant gratification and they're not willing to trade their time for nothing. But an entrepreneur is willing to sacrifice uh, for a couple years in order to live a few years with mediocre income so that the rest of their life and a long period of time, they can be way overpaid. And, and the beauty thing about this business is unlike most entrepreneurs, you don't have to quit your job and start pouring everything, every ounce of your soul and being and, and income into building your business. Yeah, I just built this business on the side while he was going to work every day. Yeah, and I and I was and I was working a lot. Like, I mean, if you include commute, it would have been eighty or more hours a week, easily. Like, I would I would have to leave at five thirty in the morning, go to the lumberyard for six thirty when it opened up. Like, I lived in Vancouver, so it was a very busy commute all the time. Then it would take me about an hour and a half to get to work, so I got there around eight, worked all day, and I mean sometimes until six. Then I would change in my truck go and do quotes until it got dark and then came home and then did emails. Like, and that was like all the time. So as you can imagine, um, I had to make sacrifices, right? And then, but the cool thing about this business is it can be done part-time. We're talking an hour, an hour a day-ish. You know, if you can put in an hour a day, you'll be fine. And if you guys are happy where you're at, 
that's fine too, I guess, if you want to. If you want to go to work for every day for the next 35 years and then retire on $10,000 a year, so you have to pay, <laughs> so you get to pay low taxes on your RSPs, that's fine. But I know that's not why these guys are here. These guys in front of us on the Facebook group are here because they want to level up. They want to level up the income, level up the mindset, level up the bank account. Yeah, and in order to do that, you got to level up your discipline. Yeah, straight up. It, there's no way. There's no way around it. If you're not doing business right now, and you're just living the same day, week, month over and over again, you're not getting ahead. You're not putting money away, and you don't know where your money's going. Welcome to step one. <laughs> and, and you guys, I know it's Friday. It's been a long week, and you you probably deserve to sit down and watch Netflix tonight. But guess how much Netflix. Guess how much money you're going to make on Netflix tonight? Nothing. You're spending money on that Netflix account. Cancel that shit. Put it in the belt in your business. If you're paying yourself first, you better be paying yourself first. Again, I'm not a fucking hypocrite. I pay myself first. We got a paycheck in the mailbox yesterday, and uh, Noel said, what should we do with this? I said, well, first of all, you know what to do. She goes, 10%. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. 10%, 10% right off the top. Yeah. And then put the rest away. Yeah. All right. I got a random check today. In the mail, and I just put the whole thing in my wealth simple app. <laughs> I don't. We don't need this money right now. All right, we got. Oh, Jacqueline, I love spending money, and I will just make more. Yeah, absolutely. Currently working while I have wine and setting up a girls' night. Boom, entrepreneur life. Yep, another one of our business partners just crushing it. Side note: Your ceiling is amazing. Thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> my wife stained it. We put it up. It was. I've always wanted to have a cedar ceiling, and it's. It smelled really good for many months. Greetings from where you are, me, Panama. Oh, cool. Panama, I love it. I'd actually like to visit there one day. Oh. We're here in uh, on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. What do you finance is like, Panama? <laughs> up or down? You don't have to tell me what you got. Up or down? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, exactly. if they're like this, we're going to teach you to make them like this. Heck yeah. Thanks for the energy, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Give some tips. Give some tricks. Show you some discipline. And you this is, you know, the cool thing is, is if you guys listen to these every Friday and you actually apply the skills we give you, you will change your life. I promise. I promise. And every day, Empire, if, you haven't, if you've noticed that I haven't been on there, I'm currently banned for a couple more days from posting in my own fucking group, which is horse shit. Thanks, Marky, Marky Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> but, um... I mean, he's been posting, my wife's been posting. We do these every Friday, and I try and dump as much value in there as possible. Saving on taxes, making financial plans, hitting financial goals. Like, we're here trying to help you. Yeah. Because you, you guys in there, in the empire, ask me for help. I'm here to help. Money is not a bad thing. I mean, get hang out with your daughter and work for 35 years. But the rest of you guys, <laughs> we are, we're here to get rich. And if you don't want to be rich, we're here to get free. And you're not going to get your freedom if you can't buy it. Because yeah. like it or not, we're living in a world that requires money. Freedom has its cost. Unless you want to live in a box. And then you can be free to sleep on the fucking beach every night on the park bench. Yeah, go go, go live at your parents' house or whatever. <laughs> That's up to you. But... Hey, if you want to start your business, move back into your parents' house. Short term. Yeah. Make them pay for your food. Make them pay for your, your heat, your bedding. Yeah. And then once you're rich, move the fuck out. Yeah. Well, again, it's just it's just a matter of, of being disciplined and, and making short-term sacrifices. Like, listen, the time's going to pass anyway, right? If you're not working towards something big, something big is never going to come your way, right? If a year from now, you don't do these things, right? One year from now, where are you going to be? Because I can tell you guys one thing. The cost of living is continually going up at a rate that's record breaking right now right so right now inflation's at 5.3 percent i believe for the country so if you did not get a 5.3 percent raise at your job this year or you didn't make 5.3 percent more money this year than last year you are actually losing money and making less money every year i don't know about you guys but where i'm from i went and got a one hand basket of groceries and it was a hundred bucks I was about to say that. You used, to, you, used to, you used to be able to get a full grocery cart for $100. You really want to see something crazy? If you keep your receipts, um, look at your grocery store receipt from a year ago and, and go to the grocery store now and just look at them. 
It's like, it's, it's absolutely insane right now. And look at the gas, look at insurance, look at, you know, mortgage rates. I'm telling you they're low right now. They will go up in a couple of years for sure. So if you are not finding a way to make more money and in order to do so, you need to make some sacrifices, you're going to be in a lot of trouble in a couple of years as opposed to really far ahead. And again, like I said, it's Friday night. Maybe you're feeling like I fucking worked too much this week and I want to sit down and I want to relax. You know, I love building this business. I've been up since 4 a.m. I didn't have to be at work till 7 because I was in the office today. I get up at 4 Saturday, Sunday. I get up earlier than that to go to work on uh, Monday through Friday. I get up at fucking stupid hours because I enjoy building this business because once those checks start coming, once you start seeing results, once you start thinking differently, once you learn how to invest and get tax write-offs, it's fun. It's exciting. It, it doesn't feel like work. No. When you're actually starting to get towards your goals, like you're fucking excited to go to work. Why do you think billionaires work until they're 75? How old's Warren Buffett? <laughs> he's got, I think he's close to 80. That fucker's still over. working. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. Yeah. Every day, crushing it. Yeah. Spends like 10 hours a day <laughs> reading about the companies that he's going to invest in. Yeah. And if you don't read, that's all Warren does. The richest <laughs> investor of all time spends his days reading. Yeah. And I, I uh, like, I've been able to, you know, work from home for over a year now. And I still wake up at 445 every day. And that includes Saturdays, Sundays. I sometimes host meetings on Sunday mornings at 6am out here in this shop. I don't need to do that, but I, I enjoy it. It's fun. And then he asked me, he's like, yo, JJ, <laughs> what time are we going to meet tomorrow? I'm like, how about 4.30? He's like, fuck, how about not? <laughs> how about 45 is my, <laughs> 4.45 is like my, my, my time. I spend, I spend an hour and 15 minutes reading or listening to audiobook. Uh, I, I do a little meditation visualization. Like I spend the first hour and 15 minutes of my day normally just plugged into i need to get better i need to learn more skills because even though I'm like i'm happy with where i'm at i'm sure as shit not going to settle for it there's so much more to life for me to to learn and, and expand on and like i'll be 35 this year which means i'm only halfway to 70 right and let's be honest the first like 20 years of my life don't count for shit <laughs> don't count for shit right so imagine what what i can accomplish in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, if I continue learning, I continue growing, I continue finding ways to make more money and build my business. Well, talking about sacrifice, the sacrifice of your Netflixes and your yeah. fucking Starbucks for now and your watch, like making those financial sacrifices short term. Yeah, you don't want to give up time now. What's a year to build your business? What's getting up a little early on the weekends? What's Sitting down for two hours to watch those fucking videos I sent you all. I watched the videos that he sent you all that you haven't found time for because I'm so busy. Get up two hours early tomorrow and figure out how to make some money, how to fucking crank open that faucet so you don't have to worry. Sacrifice some money now. Sacrifice some time now. Sacrifice some Saturdays, some Friday nights. Build your business. Learn about tax deductions. Yeah. Learn about investing. Yeah. Read these fucking books that we suggest. Exactly. It will get you to where you need to be. Yeah. And I, I like, I've got a guy in financing who's been in financing for six months. Okay. Six Is months. Is he going to be watching? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I have him on, on here. Uh, I'll have to. We'll send him a YouTube link. I'll send him a YouTube link. <laughs> anyway. So for six months, nothing has changed. He hasn't put any more money away. He hasn't made any more money, nothing. And he, and I asked him, he's like, Oh, well, I, I live in a town where, uh, you know, no one's hiring and, and I can't get a better job. And I think he's living off like, you know, income assistance or something fucking stupid. And I was like, well, maybe have you thought about like going and working on the rigs or working out of town or making a sacrifice to go somewhere else to make more money? And he's like, well, I don't want to do that. Guess what's going to happen a year from now? He's going to still be living off government assistance, not starting his business, not getting ahead because he refuses to make any sort of sacrifice because he's so comfortable in the little fucking townhouse he lives in. Comfortable doesn't get you to just shit. Your comfort zone's bullshit. Yes, I bought my first house when I was 24 years old. I worked my ass off for that. I got kicked out of school at 17, went to work the next day, got my license, started running on the fucking highway, working for 
Uh, I hope there's no CVSE on here. You got 20 hours a day. You think I wanted to do that? <laughs> no, but my bank account was growing. And that's not what we're trying to start businesses here. And we're talking about working smarter, not working like a fucking idiot like I used to. But I sacrificed my time because back then that's all I knew how to do. Yeah. Trade time for money. I traded a lot of time. And honestly, I made a lot of money. My buddies, hey, it's wing night. It's Wednesday night. It's wing night. Let's go for wing night. Sorry, boys. I got to get up at 2 a.m. Sorry, boys, I'm going to hit the road tomorrow. I'm hitting the highway because I want to buy a house by 24 years old. Yeah. That's the shit you got to do. Yeah. That's what we're talking about here. Yeah, back in 2000. So I went right to work out of, out of high school as well. I spent as much money as I made because I, I was playing <laughs> football. I played football till 22 and, you know, we partied and whatever. Um, <laughs> you know, and then Rachel and I got a place and we had dual income, but then... 2008 happened right there was like a crash and construction in vancouver like really slowed down and you know rich and i were trying to get married and so i went to the oil field it's like okay well how do i make more money right you know i wasn't thinking about a business or whatever i thought you had to go to college to start your own business because i was an idiot but i was like okay well what do i what do i need to do to, to make more money pack up Jason move wages. another move another province over away from my family and start working in minus 40 degree weather, 120 hour paychecks, um, you know, and, and it was bad. Like there was, <laughs> hope, work out for you? hopefully no one, <laughs> how, hopefully no one on the, on the rigs or safety hands hear this, but like there was times where uh, we would work a 12 hour shift and the night shift just wouldn't show up. And so we just had to keep going. Like there was times where I had a 27 hour sh shift long. I was like, hell yeah, look at all this overtime we get, baby. Here we go. That, that reminds me of when I was younger. You guys ever, you probably, nobody here has probably ever seen that old Kurt Russell movie called The Black Dog. It's the fucking terrible movie. Don't ever watch it. It's about <laughs> this truck driver. Okay. He's the demon dog. But <laughs> um, it turns out the black dog is this term. And if there's any truck drivers watching this, old truck drivers, um, for when you've fucking been awake for so long, you start to hallucinate. Well, I was driving up north one night on like, I don't know, hour 20 or something like that. And uh, I kept seeing these this pack of wolves across the highway in front of me. I'm like, holy, oh, wake up a little bit. Oh, they're gone. That was weird. Again, start to doze off behind the wheel, super safe. I <laughs> have a cigarette, dozing off, see this pack of wolves. Turns out I was so fucking tired, I was hallucinating. So That's I pulled crazy. over for an hour long nap and I hit the road again. I had my eye on the fucking goal. <laughs> my goal Make was to buy a money. house. Make hey, more guess money. what? It worked. Yeah. Not the smartest, but it worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, there's lots of different ways, right? I mean, if, 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 you, if you have gone over your financing and you see that you've covered up as many of those holes as possible, but you still don't have enough money, then you have to find a way to make more money. And yeah, unfortunately, so that's going to require sacrifice. Or find a way to borrow some money. Or find a way to borrow money. That's okay. how I started my business. I didn't pay any money at all. No, guess who's got lots of money? The bank. The bank loves lending money. money. They love giving money. And sometimes that's what you got to do is you gotta, you've got to, you've got to, you know, use other people's money in order to get ahead. And this isn't like borrow money to buy you a truck that's going to cost you money or buy you a fucking a watch that's never going to make or you any travel money or, or go to Mexico or fucking buy drugs or, unless you're going to sell them for profit. But um, <laughs> I mean, this is going to make you money. This is going to level you up. That money that you pour into your business, it's all you're going to get it back at the end of the year. Your own income tax will pay for it. Like, Every yeah, year. It's fucking no brainer. Every year. Even if you didn't make any sales, your own income tax. As long as you're an employee, your own income tax would pay your, uh, you know, whatever the fee is to start your business. Call the bank right now. Leave a message. They'll call you back tomorrow or Monday. Uh, yo, dog. Let's get this thing rolling. Yep. I'm ready. We've yeah, seen. I've, we've got, seen I've this. had lots of people that get a coastline. You know, hey, you know, mom, dad, grandpa, aunt, uncle, like, Hey, could you please, I'd, I'd like to start this business. This is what it looks like. This is the returns I'll be making. I'll be learning from some incredible people. You know, I, I'm not quitting my job to do it. I just need help with a co-signer. Boom. You started your business. And guys, you guys watching this here and over there, since I've started doing this, the skills that I have learned, people have seen them, people that I personally know have seen them. So if you're still a little scared, Little, little, little puss puss about quitting <laughs> your job. 
I was offered a job because of the skills that I have learned in this that would just about double my income. And it was fucking hard to say no to. Yeah. Honestly, it's hard because I've been raised my entire life. I, you know, chase the good money, chase the good money. Yeah, if you get offered there's a, there's a job, a go get it. Great <laughs> opportunity. But Noelle and I sat down and she's like, you know, if you pour that effort into here, you will be further ahead by sticking it out here. Like yeah. building your business. It's tough now. You're going to have fucking ups and downs when you're building your business and you're starting from the ground up and you're learning. Like me, I'm a fucking truck driver that got kicked out of school at 17 years old. I didn't even own a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't I, I have didn't, a clue what I was doing. I actually, I didn't even have Instagram when I started, to be honest. I never posted on YouTube. I my, my phone was mostly just like, it was Facebook and it was, you know, emails and calling and texting like that's all i knew how to do i didn't know how to edit photos or do whatever it was like you got to learn right i but, didn't have tiktok youtube <laughs> twitter and i didn't post anything as, like <laughs> as far as i'm concerned though any any blue collared workers out there like we are capable of learning so much and we're stubborn that's and, why you're blue stubborn. Collar <laughs> yeah we're also stubborn you know right? to the grindstone and grind it out yeah but I mean, if you can learn, you know, if you can learn how to use 12 different saws, if you can learn how to use all these different wrenches, if you know how to rebuild an engine, if you know how to change a tire, if you know how to drive a semi, if you know how to, like, all these things that you've learned, there's, I promise you, you can learn the skills to build a, a business online, especially because you have someone teaching you. Especially because you got your Uncle JJ and Uncle Adam. Yeah, we're here. We're here to help we're you. Here. We're here, to hold, <laughs> we're here to hold your hand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's why we do these things, right? Is is we wanna we wanna give back. We wanna help as many people as possible. And you know, anyone willing to learn, we can teach. You just gotta be coachable. You gotta put in some effort, right? Again, part time, and you gotta be willing to make the sacrifices to make it happen. And you guys in the empire that I have personally talked to. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm doing all of these steps. I'm doing the pay yourself first. I'm fucking tight. I'm cheap. I'm no fun. And, um, you know what? I was, um, I was fucking, I don't even remember where I was going with this. Did you just blank? <laughs> I, yeah, I was just, I'm just, checking the, I'm just trying to check it. the comments here. <laughs> uh, I saw him, I saw the success that he had built for himself. And I'm just like, all right, it's time. Pull off the bandaid. It's time to fucking do this. Yeah. So we got, so uh, Philip says, we just saw Mark Zuck come out with Meta. I haven't watched that whole thing. It looks pretty crazy, though. Yeah, constantly improving. It's all about impact. Hi, Sky. Uh, I feel like I'm partying with you guys right now. It's so fun. That's how we roll. <laughs> Friday night. Friday, Friday night. night, baby. Woo! Friday night. Might as well talk about finances and getting ahead in life, right? That's right. Love it. Sweet. Money and investing and business building and taxes is not a subject that you should be afraid to talk about. Talk about it with your kids. Talk about it with your dad. And if your dad's anything like my dad, I mean, if he's watching this, he's stubborn as shit. And he's not that much fun to talk to about it. But don't run away from money. No. It, you know, you learn, learn to work until you're 150 and be broke for a Just time. learn about it. It's, it's such a, you know, it's such a teachable skill. You know, money management, finances, investing, all of it's, learnable you have don't be afraid to learn it right and those long ass posts that i keep posting in the group you guys read them they they seem like they're long they're short enough to read through in five minutes you read those every day i read those every day he reads those every day we create those every day and they're facts they're not just fucking made up yeah i, I do my research every morning so i can give you guys something that you can actually learn the reason i added you into that group the reason you guys are there are is for the value I'm trying to teach you these things that I know, yeah. that he knows. And, that, and that's our goal, right? It's like at, we're going to continue learning and we're going to test things and try and see what works and then give it back to you guys. And we're going to continue making money. And we're going to continue making money while we do it. And hopefully, hopefully soon we can make money with you. That's the goal, right? It's not just to, hey, let's stop buying Starbucks and Netflix. It's like, hey, let's make, you know, an extra thousand bucks a month. Start with that. Okay, now let's make a $10,000 a month. Okay, let's have a $100,000 a month because those things are possible. It fires me up when people, I hope some of those people are going to listen to this and know that I'm talking about them because 
you guys, any anybody here, and I don't know about Instagram, it's kind of different because you guys might just follow him, but any of you guys that have reached out to Adam, I'm sure there's some watching this. I'm sure there's going to be some watching this. Hey, man, I need your help. I'm interested. I want to do this. I want you to show me. I want you to teach me. I, I will watch your videos. I promise. <laughs> I, I will. I want to start my business. I promise. I'm going to do it. And then they ghost you. They give up. I understand being skeptical. Be skeptical and do the research. You should. But don't fucking start ignoring me. <laughs> I am committed to this business, to my business, and to you because you asked me. You asked me to help you. I don't write those posts for fun. I don't spend hours of my morning reading and listening to audiobooks. Not reading audiobooks. Reading books, <laughs> listening to audiobooks, and doing research on online so I can find out the real tax laws to share with you. I do Canadian and American because I know some of you boys are down south. I do this for you. I already know this shit. So, so if I if I share something, I do I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this because you asked me for this. Yeah. And if you guys like anyone watching either Instagram, uh, YouTube, or Facebook, like guys, just you can reach out to us, right? It costs nothing for you to reach out, help you with a either a money management plan or some way to invest for different you know, options, like we're more than happy to help with that too. Our, we're, we don't charge for our time because we don't believe in, you know, trading our time for money anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, right, I one, one day when we got fucking millies in the bank, we're like, oh, busy. What do you want? <laughs> Give <me> a thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he's got a fucking massive team. And I know you, you tell them all the time, no news is good news. You need any help, reach out. Like, Guys that I've talked to, guys on my team, if I don't hear from you, I'm busy. I still have a full-time job. I'm not fucking, I'm not lying to you and saying, I, I'm rich, bitch, and I don't have to go to work anymore. I still go to work every day. I'm making the sacrifices to build my business. But if I don't hear from you, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And, and that's, the, that's the talk toughest to part. Like I've got, you know, I've like you said, I've got a pretty big team and, you know, it's only going to get bigger, but I can't, I can't micromanage a hundred to 200 people like it's just not possible right if i don't hear from someone i just assume that they're doing great and, we're, you, and, we're and not... you don't know how, how often you hear from me well every friday <laughs> <laughs> every friday you know you just assume like oh fuck, fuck jj he's good yeah i just assume like, you're good. i'm assuming that all of my boys are just working towards their goals if you're thinking to yourself fuck that, that jj cat now like Reach out to me and tell me what's up. Let's come up with a goal. Let's come up with a game. Let's come up with a budget. I'll help you. Yeah. You ask me for help. I will help you. But if you don't tell me what you need, I can't help you. Well, that's the whole point of a, of a, of a business is, you know, especially this type of business where mentorship is so important. You, if you don't reach out to your mentor or, you know, the person trying to help you, they can't do anything for you. You know, it doesn't do you or us any favors by saying, oh, I don't want to bug them. Oh, I don't want to reach out. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to ask for help. I, I don't want to, uh, you know, him to see that I'm not feeling good. I want him to think I'm doing good. Like that doesn't help anybody. Right. Especially it doesn't help us. It doesn't, it doesn't help, help you. you. So why do that? Like why waste? It helps you stay broke. Why, yeah, why waste <laughs> days or weeks or even months not going and, and creating a plan and, and executing a plan? It's pointless. Right. The, our mentorship doesn't cost a thing. So why wouldn't you take advantage of it? Use us like a fucking cheap, dirty old whore. <laughs> I mean, if food was free, <laughs> if food was free, would you not just go get a bunch of food all the time whenever you felt like it? Of course you would. So if you have someone that can help mentor you and help you increase your revenue and increase your income, why wouldn't you take advantage of it? Right? It, it honestly pisses me off more when I don't hear from someone and they're like, oh man, a month ago I was feeling down and I haven't felt good sense a month you just wasted 30 <laughs> days why like business is all built on momentum right anyone here that's in sales when's the best time to make a sale after you make a sale right it's, it's hot you're pumped you're pumped your momentum's high like that's when you go and get after shit right so if, and if you're but it works both ways it goes up and it goes down so if you're feeling down and you allow that to build momentum yeah, you are going to go a whole 30 days without making any changes in your life, and that sucks. And if you're building a business on, on social media, 
there is so much shit. shit. There's so much noise on social media. Yeah. You, you got to be on it. You got to be posting. You got to be, hey, <laughs> let's go. You got to get that attention because yeah. there's fucking the metaverse and Zuckerberg and <laughs> Rona and the vaccines that's distracting people. Let's go, people. It's Friday. It's Financial Friday, and that's why we're here. Oh, look, a squirrel. <laughs> it's that fast. That's that's how fast. You know where I am, and you know where he is. We're not like we're like fuck the squirrel. There's money. Here's money right here. Ooh, this camera. There's some money. This mm -hmm. financial Friday. Yeah, that's key. Keep your eye on the prize, boys. Yeah, and girls, and the gram, and the tube, and on the tube. If you like it, like, comment, dislike, subscribe. It's all good. Yeah, and if you're watching watching the replay and you have questions, you can throw it in the comments and we'll answer them, or you can reach out again to us directly. Or if you haven't reached out and you're like, the fuck are these guys, what kind of business are these guys talking about? Send us a message. Yep. Either one of us. Information is free. Us. Well, arm wrestle for your business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible arm wrestler, but <laughs> so it's fine. There you go. Awesome. Well, cool. we're at 40 minutes, and I haven't seen my wife in uh, since yesterday, so... Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Graham, we love you. I hope you guys. if uh, work to 105 is still on there. It's all love, brother. He's giving you a hard time. Yeah. Reach out if you guys need anything, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. YouTube, like, and subscribe. Love you all. Bye, guys.